Welcome to Risky Business. Review all the Castlevania games, I thought. It'll be fun, I thought. Even the ones you've never played. Yeah. Play them for the first time. Experience them as a new experience. And it was. It was a lot of fun until I got to this shit show. Yeah. Let's get this fucking shit show on the road, shall we? Oh yeah, we're going to be doing some uh, expletive language up in this one. Because these are... Hoo, hoo, hoo. Castlevania 64, man. What can I say? Oh. Let's get down to fucking bitness. Alright. So, after the surprising success of the open map RPG influenced 2D platformer, Symphony of the Night, which was released on the dominant platform at the time, Konami did the logical thing. They released a linear 3D platform for the worst selling platform at the time. I'm gonna put this out there right now, Nintendo 64 sucks. If you like Nintendo 64, I'm sorry, it is like the one of the worst consoles ever. There's like seven good games for it, and this ain't one of them. Oh man. Konami handled Castlevania's first foray into 3D the way Casey Anthony handled Motherhood. What a dumpster fire. This came out in 1999, it was called Akumajo Drakura Mokushoroku, which is Demon Castle Dracula Apocalypse in Japan. It's been decanonized because it's so bad. It's so bad that they had to like try to fix it with the sequel. I haven't played that yet, but I don't think there's enough salt for this dumpster fire right here. This is, ugh. I tried. I really, really tried. But this game is virtually unplayable. I'm not sure how it got positive reviews, and I know some of you watching this like this game, and I don't know who dropped you on your head, but it sucks. I mean, the graphics are okay. All right, it's a Nintendo 64 game, and the Nintendo 64 did have the okayest graphics of the time. The color palette is trash, but at least the character models don't look completely laughably awful, only mostly laughably awful. Like, they, their bodies don't even make sense in, like, a physics way. The, these are the most square-jawed skeletons I've ever seen in my life. And Why is there no music for most of the game? This is a Castlevania game! Castlevania, known for having amazing music. This hardly has any music. The music it does have is good, don't get me wrong, but most of the time you're walking around with no music. It doesn't make sense. The controls are a joke. I mean, obviously the controls on most N64 titles were a joke, but this one really takes the cake. Look, there are two games on the N64 with good controls. One of them is the Star Wars game, whose title I forget, and the other one is Star Fox 64. That's it. Everything else is trash. And in this game, it just feels clumsy. I'm constantly fighting with the camera. The platforming, which is the bread and butter of this kind of game, is just nightmare-inducingly difficult. And not because it's challenging, but because the, you have to fight with the fucking controller and the camera the whole time. It's extremely frustrating to try to complete anything in this game. There are two playable characters, Reinhardt, whose last name isn't Belmont, but he's descended from a Belmont, and Carrie, whose last name's not Belnades, but is a Belnades. And I thought maybe Carrie might control a little better than Reinhardt, but no, she's actually worse, which I didn't imagine was possible. Choosing between Reinhardt and Carrie is like choosing between being punched in the nose or kicked in the crotch. Either way, it sucks, but one sucks just a little more. You have to use the C buttons to pick up items or interact with a save crystal, and pressing a button to pick up an item is just awful. The R button locks onto enemies, even though it seems to pick and choose which enemy to lock onto, which makes locking onto enemies totally pointless. There's no reason to lock on an enemy if you can't control which enemy you're locking onto! You also use your sub weapon with one of the C buttons, because that's all this stupid controller has, is these four little directional arrow buttons, which is like a, a shitty D-pad on the opposite side of the controller. Like, like, what was Miyamoto thinking when he designed this? He was thinking, I want to move the camera in Super Mario. And then Sony was like, well, we got two sticks, and now this thing just, by then, like, look at this thing. It sucks. So it's, 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 it's the fucking worst. It's the fucking worst. Where was I? Let's get this fucking train back on the fucking rails. All right. So, uh, the Z trigger, you duck, and if you're moving, you slide. I've never needed to do either of those things. 
Uh, you have to duck to whip coffins to get items out of them because that's what's in coffins. You can get meat out of coffins and eat it, which implies things that a hero ought not do. Uh, there are several camera modes. You can switch among them, but they don't seem to actually do anything. You're just fighting with the camera no matter what you do. Why, why did Nintendo never release a two-stick controller? All they would have to do is, like, map the C buttons to the, st to the right stick and, like, maybe make an offset so that it feels more analog than it is. It's just... It's so bad. For some inexplicable reason, Reinhardt has a sword, even though his whip can be used for close-range attacks, so there's, like, no reason to ever use it. Um, oh, and if you wanted to have the Morning Star, you know, like in every other... Castlevania game up to this point well tough shit because Reinhardt's rip just turns red and then like once you get hit you're, it goes away there's one thing that works well in this game and that's the sub weapons they work really really well I like the way that the axe arcs the way the cross comes back to you it's all really good it's literally the only thing in this title that I was impressed with even a little bit everything else about this game just sucks the big one like I said, there's like maybe seven good titles on the X64, and this ain't one of them, man. This is not one of them. Oh, the level design is horrible. The levels are incredibly tedious. They're way too long. At least I think so. I couldn't stomach this abomination for long enough to see most of them. But the first level alone sets a really grim pace. Like, you walk 40 miles, you jump over some shit, you flip a switch, you fight with the camera to jump over some other shit, you die 7,000 times because you jumped the right way, but the camera fucked up. You walk another 40 miles, you flip another switch, and you just keep on doing that shit over and over and over and over again, and skeletons pop up all the time, and eventually you find a big skeleton and, and the end. And then the second level is like a spiral staircase, but you have to fight with the camera to go up the staircase, and the platforming is terrible, and it's just, it, and that's, that's the end of the game, because this shit sucks, I can't play it anymore. That's it. Negative a million stars, and may God have mercy on your soul. Fuck you, Castlevania 64.